Let's now look at example 2. Okay, so you are given three points A, B and C, right, with the coordinates given. They are three vertices, right, the vertices means the three points of the para parallelogram A, B, C, D. Find, first find the midpoint of A, C. Okay, midpoint of A, C. Okay, so, um, so A, C over here. So now what we want to do is to find the midpoint, right? So for A, we have 2, negative 4. C, we have uh, negative 1, 5. Okay, so uh, quite easily you are able to find the midpoint by taking the average of the X and Y coordinates respectively. Okay, so uh, for X coordinate, you will be 2 plus negative 1. Okay, divide by 2. Okay, so where are they? Okay, x coordinate over here, and uh, y coordinate is negative four and five. Okay, so we have uh, negative four plus five and divide by two to find the average. Okay, so if you uh, simplify it, you will get half, half. Okay, all right. So this is the easy part. Next for part one, find the coordinates of d okay find the coordinates of d okay so a b c d are a, a parallelogram okay so uh, it's also read in this order a followed by b followed by c followed by d okay so what you need to do is to maybe what you want to try to do is to sketch such a parallelogram to visualize the problem Okay, so very often in this topic of coordinate geometry, okay, it's very useful to uh, try to draw the diagram to visualize and see uh, how you can solve it. Okay, so if you were to do a quick sketch, your A, your A will be here, B, C. Okay, so in order for it to be a parallelogram, okay, where should D be? Okay, so so you need to estimate a little bit, okay? Estimate a little bit such that D maybe is over here so that you will form the parallelogram, okay? So just a recap of the properties for parallelogram, okay? Uh, this over here, BC over here, okay? Is parallel and equal to AD, okay? They are parallel and they are also equal, okay? On the other hand, Okay, so this AB over here, AB over here, is parallel and equal to uh, DC over here. Okay, so they are parallel and equal. Okay, so how can we make use of what we have uh, done earlier? Okay, we have found the midpoint of AC. So how can we make use of that to actually find the coordinates of D? Okay, so uh, next, uh, you need to notice uh, that for D, Okay, you do not know the x or y coordinates. Okay, so that's my note over here. The coordinates of d are unknown. So if both x and y coordinates are unknown, so one strategy right, is to give it a, a letter. So for example, h and k. So once you give uh, two unknowns, okay, so you, you need to expect to find two equations in order to solve for both h and k okay so now how can we make use of what we have uh, found earlier to actually solve this problem of finding the coordinates of d okay so the way to do it is to use the property of parallelogram so one very uh, useful property in this case is that for a parallelogram the diagonals will bisect each other so what does it mean? Okay, so diagonals. What are diagonals? So one diagonal, for example, is this AC. AC is a diagonal. Right? Diagonal means the, the, the line that joins the two opposite corners. Okay, so another diagonal is over here. BD. Okay, so these are called diagonals. So what does bisect mean? Okay, bisect means that it intersects each other and cut it into two equal parts okay so for example for example 
for AC bisecting BD, this this part over here, right? This length over here, right? Is equal to this length over here. Okay, so the the green part and the blue part they are equal. So bisect. Okay. And uh, similarly for BD, okay, uh, the diagonals also bisect. So uh, again, over here, right, is equals to this blue part over here. Okay, so okay, so what does it mean? It means that the midpoint here is the midpoint. Okay, for both diagonals. Right, the midpoint will lie. Right, the midpoint of AC. Okay, the midpoint of AC. It also lies on the midpoint of BD. Okay, so take a look at it. Okay, so if the diagonals bisect each other, this midpoint over here. Okay, lies both on AC and BD. Okay, and is the same point. Okay, so we are going to use this fact to find the coordinates of D. Okay, so similarly right, to the previous question, okay, so um, if it's the midpoint, okay, so the midpoint of uh, BD, so how do we find the midpoint? Again, we take the average. The average of the x and y coordinate, so you have uh, h plus 7 over 2 and uh, k plus 1 over 2. Okay, so because we know that the midpoint of BD okay, is also equal to the midpoint of uh, AC, right? this means that the midpoint of AC you have found earlier okay, over here. To be half half. Okay, so once again, right, you can match the x coordinate to the x coordinate over here, the y coordinate to the y coordinate over here. Right, so you can form two equations. So h plus seven over two will be equals to half. Okay, so you can. Uh, you will simplify you times 2 on both sides, you get h plus 7 equals to 1, and your h you can solve to be 6. Sorry, uh, negative 6. Right. Okay, negative 6. Okay, 1 minus 6, uh, 1 minus 7, you get negative 6. Okay, on the other hand, the, if you compare the y coordinates, you get k plus 1 over 2, again, it's equals to half. So you get uh, k plus 1 equals 1. So uh, your k, k equals 1 minus 1 to be 0. Okay, so because you are asked to find the uh, coordinates of d, so you need to conclude, therefore, the co coordinates of d to be minus 6, 0. Okay, so uh, just to recap again, the property that we are applying here is that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other, okay, which gives allows you to use this property midpoint of BD is equal to the midpoint of AC that you have found earlier. Okay, lastly, to find the length of AD, okay, to find the the length of a line segment joining two points, so you need to recall. Okay, how do we find the what is the formula used? Okay, the formula used is x2 minus x1 whole thing squared plus y2 minus y1 whole thing squared and take a square root. Okay, just a recap, how do we get this? Is uh, by using Pythagoras theorem, right? So let's uh, recap. So let's say you have this line segment P, okay, x1, y1, and over here is point Q, okay. Uh, x2, y2. Okay, so we are interested in finding this length PQ. Okay, we want to know how long it is. So how we do it is that we can try to form this right angle triangle over here. 
So what is this distance over here? Okay, this distance over here, you can think of it as the difference of the two x coordinate. So you x2 minus x1. So similarly over here, okay, the distance is given by the difference of the y coordinate. Difference, right? So we are going to minus y2 minus y1. Okay, so because it's a right angle triangle, we are able to apply Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so we get by Pythagoras theorem. Okay, by Pythagoras theorem, uh, PQ square, which is the hypotenuse, okay, is the uh, square, right? You're going to take the two sides square right, plus also the, the other side. Sorry. Okay, let's continue. Okay, right. So if you make a PQ the subject, okay, you take the positive square root because it's length. Okay, x2 minus x1. Okay, and that's how you get the uh, length of the line segment. Okay, so we are going to apply this formula to find the length of AD. Okay, so um, just to recall, right, for A, the coordinates are, um, for A, the coordinates are 2, negative 4. Okay, your D, the coordinates are negative 6, 0. Okay, so to find the length of AD, find the length of AD okay the formula is x2 minus x1 so it doesn't uh, really matter uh, which one you choose to be x2 which one you choose to be x1 but uh, I will just call this x1 this will be y1 and here this will be x2 this one will be x1 okay so uh, you can choose either uh, sorry this one should be uh, y2 Okay, so you can choose any uh, order, right? You can uh, let A be x2, y2, right? It's fine. So take a square root, okay? x2 minus x1, so you can write negative 6 minus x1, which is 2, square, plus, okay, y2, 0, minus negative 4, whole thing, square. Okay, so simplify using your calculator, you can square root 80, or if you evaluate it, you need to, you get 8.94 units, leave it to 3SF. Okay, so how you get all uh, this is to use the calculator.